Let's see. This one is called The Most Scary Videos on the Internet. Scary Compilation version 74. 74. Scary Comp. Let's see this. Let's see this one. Let's see if they're really the most scary videos or not, chat. Are you ready to be afraid? Are you ready to be spooked for real? D. A mother residing in a relatively secluded area with her two sons began to notice peculiar and inexplicable sounds and she voices began to notice in her yard. Determined I'm sorry. Explicable sounds and voices permeate. What is what are these? What the, what do you have going on here? That audio. Yeah, this is like a weird AI voice, but in a bad mic for some reason. Gating her yard. Did you see it? Determined to uncover the source of these disturbances, she strategically positioned a series of trail cameras throughout her property to monitor any unusual activity. Hmm. One fateful night, shortly before midnight, her vigilance paid off as the camera system detected movement, triggering an alert that swiftly reached Mandy's attention. What unfolded in the footage is really bone chilling. You deserve to be haunted if you put shit like that on your porch. Well, so it's choking. That forest is haunted by a throat goat. Despite the absence of what? visible entities on the camera feed, Mandy's apprehension heightened as she listened to the eerie sounds and unsettling pretty good at captured job. by the equipment. Several nights later, is there some lanky ten foot tall suited dude Mandy that comes out of the woodwork? Alert. It's a slender man. Chat, have <laughs> have you guys seen do you guys know there's an entire genre of creepy pastas? that are crossed over with like lemons and fanfics lemon meaning uh, a fan fiction with sex and penetration and there's like an entire alternative universe of slender man and uh all these people writing fan fictions uh where they fuck slender man <laughs> all kinds of stuff That was just the bug talking. This bug was talking. Listen. Children, Mandy received yet another alert. <laughs> That's the beetle trying to get in the house. You read some on Donathon, remember? Did I? Storms. Well, the tension escalated. You couldn't see, As chat. There was someone in the bottom right here. They were behind me. There was a thing behind me. Scratching and knocking sounds. You didn't get to see much. It was just feed, movement. Accompanied by the chilling demand of a voice imploring to be granted entry. Mandy's unease deepened as the disturbances seemed to infiltrate the sanctity of her son's bedroom. Hmm. It's just the bugs. <laughs> well, quit throwing shit, woman. I heard the voice. I'm just getting another bottle. I hear something. Following her departure from her son's room, a bone-chilling voice ominously declares, I see you. 
and you're mine now. Oh, Hinting fuck. at a sinister presence with ominous intentions towards her son. Later that very night, an unsettling event unfolds as something horrifying is captured on camera from within the confines That sounds like when I send a bedroom. super chat. There's a fucking- is that Michael Jackson outside the window? Do you see it? Open that door. Open that door. <laughs> Open that door. Open that door. Rain and thank you for 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. It's this car down the road. This is so low effort fake shit for attention. It's real! <laughs> My bones are chilled. Not only are fingers, fingers visible, but the entire window was actually lifted. Look at the face, chat. I can't see the it without the circle around it. As the camera captures the window lifting slightly. Put a circle around it. The Come presence on. presence of a child lock, rendering any attempts to pry it open seemingly futile. A ghastly pale face peers ominously into the room where Mandy's son lies asleep. A sight made all the more unsettling by the room's elevation mm. on the second floor. Sayawaki. Compounding the mystery, the camera, which has been steadfastly monitoring the room's interior, was strategically mm. zoomed in on the window, leaving little room for... Strategically zoomed in. Did you know that people can hack into these cams and they can talk through some of them? That might have been what he did. Yeah, there's an entire website of hacked cameras. I can't remember what it's called, but I think I looked at it one time. And it'll be like inside people's houses and shit. It's Doubt weird. Regarding the authenticity of the footage. Michael Byers fell on hard times. By concern for her son's safety, Mandy finds herself wrestling with a daunting uncertainty about the nature of the threat looming there's the circle. over her family. Several nights later, the outdoor cameras capture a chilling sight. An indistinct figure perched atop the house, <laughs> initially manifesting as a shadow, That's before very gradually bright. morphing into a discernible human form. Alarmed by this disturbing development, that's Mandy just the roofer. No time in contacting the authorities. Oh, let me guess. And they arrested the monster. You can't have shit in this country. <laughs> we used to be a country chat. You could be a fucking monster perched on somebody's roof if you wanted to be. Despite Mandy's urgent call for assistance, the police's cursory search of the interior, lasting a mere nine I thought minutes, this was America. Left her Can't even haunt in this economy. Disillusioned with their lack of thoroughness. What do you mean their lack of thoroughness? Someone said something on my camera and I tried to have a weird thing come in for TikTok and I got a picture of a thing perched on my roof and the cops like, okay, bye. <laughs> by their perceived indifference, she resolved not to rely on them for further assistance. Apprehensive. Also, can I just say? She resolved not to rely on them for further assistance. Look how big her forehead is. I think she might be the fucking alien. How do we know that she's not sleep perching on the roof? I think it might be her. Like, look at how round this is. That five head. <laughs> Mine looking ass. Yakub's first design. She's been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> God damn. Apprehensive about the potential consequences oh, of their negligence. As the She's having another kid, but her head's pregnant. Her son persists. <laughs> head shaped Mandy like a light finds bulb. Herself grappling with the unsettling uncertainty surrounding the identity and motives of this illusion. He's in 100% of her brain. Until more information comes to light, the true nature of the danger lurking in the shadows remains shrouded in mystery. Chris, 
from the Urbex Hill YouTube channel. Oh, hold on. on. Sorry, I just noticed that her name mystery, is Chris Mandy ASMR. She has an Hill ASMR YouTube channel. Embarks on a journey to explore enigmatic tunnels that prove to be more perilous than anticipated. Mm. In the video's description, Chris cryptically states, Today, I explored a mysterious tunnel and saw that something explains strange. Lot. He recounts... That reminds me of the guy that we would watch, uh, the dude who went camping in those, like, culverts and would just set up an entire platform with a tent and, like, a stove and all kinds of shit for no reason in the drain pipe. <laughs> Remember that guy? Undertaking one of his most treacherous explorations. All fake for attention? Nope, real. An entire You're day fake. You're fake for attention. Over 10 miles of labyrinthine tunnels concealed within a dense forest. Upon entering fake. You're the fake. portal, an unsettling silence envelops him. Wait, a portal? Accompanied by an inexplicable sensation of being under scrutiny. As he I mean, this is a cool this is a cool tunnel. To the tunnels, ominous signs suggest he may not be alone. Culminating in a chilling encounter that ranks itself pretty among creepy. Yeah, this is a good tunnel. Experiences. As the tension mounts, Chris reaches a pivotal moment around the 18 minute mark. Where a sudden How long is this tunnel? 18 minutes. Light, foreshadow an imminent heart pounding revelation. Oh, oh, something's looking at him, chat. Look at it. Oh, there's two. La Crituras. Should have got the 100,000 lumen flashlight. Yeah, see, this is the content. You just go look at it. Yeah, let's see if these weird glowing eyes like a fucking 12-gauge buckshot. Did you see it? It would be a cool to live stream going through creepy tunnels and caves and houses. Yeah, it would be. I don't know if you could- I don't know if you could live stream from this spot. I imagine it would block a lot of signal. Hold on. If you look closely, you can see the creature kicks up water as it runs away. Let's see it. Let's see if it kicks up water. Okay. A good effect they did. In the video, two astonishingly swift creatures dart around the corner. I didn't see it. It was dark. Before swiftly retreating into the shadows. Despite the apparent terror of the encounter, Chris appears remarkably unfazed by the Do you sighting. see it now? However, the tension continues to mount. We needed a finger pointing at the red circle. Approximately 20 minutes later, as Chris traverses a forebodingly dark corridor resonating with the ominous rush of water beneath his feet, a new sound suddenly interrupts Ew, the gross. eerie silence. Gross pipe. How long is this tunnel he's going in? Found the creature. No, straight fucking it. Several tense minutes later, Chris emerges from the tunnels unscathed. A palpable sense uh, of relief. Well, now he's got to go back demeanor. through it to get to his van. Nonetheless, the lingering unease underscores the chilling reality that's. The real horror. Nonetheless. Littering. The lingering unease underscores the chilling You watched the oldest view, right? Ominous uh, I don't think so. Within the depths of the tunnels. The guy who walks into a bunker in the forest or stuff down there? I don't believe so. Remains shrouded in mystery. That's a pretty good one. Watch the oldest view later. Maybe after this one.
See the creature kicks up waters and runs away. You already said that. It's just lame. You're lame. Uh, uh, investigators uh, from the YouTube flash channel. Flashback. Flashback. Rebel. Thank you for five months. Thank you. Thank you. Paranormies. Embark on Paranormies. a spine tingling adventure in their quest to explore purportedly haunted locations. In this video, the team ventures into a dilapidated house steeped in chilling tales of ghostly encounters. Chilling tales. As they navigate the interior, the decrepit state of the house becomes glaringly apparent, accompanied by good an name. It's a good name. that would deter most from venturing further. Mm. However, undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, the paranormies press on with their investigation. Around the six-minute mark, a member of the team makes a disquieting discovery in an adjacent room, signaling a pivotal moment in their exploration of the haunted dwelling. What are they finding? What's that? It's a fucking dead bird. <laughs> you never say anything about the bird and stuff being here. <laughs> it's a dead bird. You never said anything about a dead bird being in here. <laughs> Just peak conversation. It's in toilet paper. Amazing. Well, can you like sweep it up or something? It's disgusting. How long did that get? I don't know. Is that what you Peak acting. Once it gets into the basement? Yeah. It's a nice little house. Doubler. Do you see it? Later in their investigation, the group ascends the stairs to delve deeper into the mysteries shrouding the upper floors of the house. What would your ghost hunter name be? It's during this phase of their I mean, I, I guess Bag. <laughs> I guess the same name. I don't know if you need so a new name for ghost hunting. That it leaves them paralyzed with shock and awe. They found a second dead bird. Who was that? You heard something? You totally do. Who's that? You heard something? I don't hear anything. You heard something? About 15 minutes later, the Paranormies decide to set up a laser grid device in order to... Sounds like it won't be a very good ghost hunter then. Okay, fine. We need a cool name because all the cool ghost hunters have to like provoke the ghost and like call it an asshole and try to uh, convince it to like kill you and stuff. And you have to call the ghost a pussy if it doesn't do anything. So your name needs to be, um, it's got to be like a guy who still wears like a hookah shell necklace and gels his hair and spikes it up and also wears a trench coat and has a bunch of t tattoos and pounds of energy drinks. So it's got to be like Kyle is a good one, you know, like a, that's the guy who like punches through drywall and then, hmm, it's got to be something rad like Kyle the semen demon Kyle the semen demon Jones mm -hmm. there you go detect that's the name usual movements in the room ghost grapers also activate the penny bandit device which is designed to capture any potential ghost. How come forces? I needed to add a permitted term fanny bandits? Why is fanny blocked on Twitch? What's what? <laughs> or sounds. The results they obtain from these devices are deeply unsettling, indicating the presence of something malevolent within Brit the room. slang means something else in British. Oh my God. In the U.S., a fanny is like what your 92-year-old great-grandmother would call a butt. <laughs> fanny is the British term for pussy. I see. When I said, okay, it did R-A-C, am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to... Continue on. What? 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 Shut up. Rimpod goes off. Look at all the lights they have. What? What did you see? I heard the rumble. A shadow. Shadow. Really? Rachel, are you right here? from here, from here, this way, like over this way or that way. Oh God, that was neat. 
I had no idea what Johnny saw. He was standing in the kitchen, I was standing on the landing, and we were just talking about our Ouija board results, and he just took off like a bat out of hell at something in the living room. Yeah, and even halfway through Rachel, but it would stop yeah. like between Let's see the letters. It. Even when I said, okay, it did RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you, like, I don't need you to. Oh, so you want... what, what, what? that was another bird. At this juncture, the tension for the group noticeably heightens. Despite the That's how the first one dies. They remain determined to continue their investigation, descending into the basement, an area that proves to be equally, if not more, unsettling than the upper dust. floor. It doesn't Loveless take long magic. for them to encounter strange noises once more, along with Need ghost hunting shows where they just abuse the, the ghosts and don't cease to exist. They had positioned in the vicinity. Take a moment to observe the unsettling events captured during their exploration. All right, you better put a red circle around whatever the fuck it is that's unsettling, otherwise I won't be able to see it. What? You heard that. Hold on, it says groaning and a tap on the door, but then it cuts all sound, so I can't hear anything. Exploration. You heard that? No, I didn't hear anything. What does that mean? Periodical? You heard that? Is there something from the room? They can't afford the sound effects. You heard that? Footsteps upstairs? I don't hear shit. Are they just cutting out all the audio because it's like copyrighted or something? Enhanced audio. Rem pod. And then another one. What? I. I don't hear shit. Around a minute later, there's no sound. One of the men named Johnny starts what to hear some mysterious tapping noises emanating Footsteps from the kitchen. Footsteps start in P4, as he owned by Sony. A board. Curiosity peaked. He decides to investigate the. The ultimate twist. They thought they were making the video using public domain sound effects. They weren't. <laughs> source of the eerie sounds. There was nothing to there. Encounter that sends chills down his spine. We get to hear anything or do they block the sound again there's no sound chat nothing more terrifying than YouTube's copyright system <laughs> this, they cut all the fucking sound listen to this silence <laughs> this is fucking Bullshit! What the fuck? <laughs> what, the light came on? What? The light came on. You don't even get to hear it. Following this un chat, this is why this is why the fucking commentators sound so hollowed out. They had to fucking do the uh, the copyright thing. YouTube has this new copyright system where it's like uh, try to get out the uh, the the like background music and shit to and you can still hear the voices but it makes it sound weird they had to do that to this entire fucking video i bet because the background music was probably copyrighted and they fucked up all the audio holy shit <laughs> unsettling incident 
the paranormies <laughs> exercise prudence and opt to conclude their investigation God for the damn day. It. A decision that proves to be the most sensible course of action. Reflecting on the potential hazards that may have lurked within the shadows, it becomes evident that departing when they did likely averted unforeseen oh my dangers God. that could have materialized had they lingered even a few moments longer. Moxley from the Moxley's paranormal. Should we skip World through the YouTube muted channel, parts? Well, I didn't know that. I don't know if they're going to be muted or it'll actually show the sound. As the three sisters' murder house, as per local law. A tragic incident occurred wherein a young boy succumbed to insanity and tragically ended the lives of his three sisters while they slumbered in the dead of night. My God. Subsequently, the property has been shrouded in reports detailing profound paranormal phenomena. Undeterred, Moxley ventured into the premises at the early hours. This location exudes an atmosphere of palpable tension instigating a sense of unease from the very moment one sets foot inside. This is one of those places that has you on edge from the moment you step foot inside. I'd buy this house. Exude this. She just cut the audio. There's no fucking sound. Oh, there was something. I feel on edge over there. Is this the number three brown lady guy? I don't know, actually. I can't Maybe. catch my breath. That's just the mold. Right, let's take a little walk around. Audio cut. Uh huh. Hello? <laughs> Hold on. Sounds like a male voice asking me what I'm doing. No, it doesn't, because the, <laughs> the copyright system destroyed it. Literally can't hear shit. What are your thoughts? Comment below, chat. Somebody just speak, then. Hello? I've just sworn. <laughs> I heard a voice. This is like, this is like watching these in real time, like before they edited in the sound effects. Because <laughs> all the fucking audio's cut. There's a bin truck going past. What was that rustle? <laughs> what the hell? Ascending the staircase. They were really scared they would have ran. No, he discerned a they would need to run towards the danger for content about his presence and intentions. Just like male voice. Hello? What are you doing? Literally can't hear it. There's no sound at all. Hello. Hello. Shortly there. Like I'm looking at the, the uh, fucking decibel meter on OBS. It's at zero. There's no sound. After, just as he was on the brink of entering a room, Mox can you make your own spooky noises to add immersion? Oh yeah, okay. Sound of disembodied footsteps resonating through the desolate corridors. All right, I'll do the footsteps. <laughs> the light, rapid footsteps Did that do a chat? echoed as though someone swiftly dashed past him, sending shivers down Moxley's spine. Undeterred, he pressed on, only to find that the unsettling paranormal activity persisted with <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm so took. spooked right now. If you hear, so what happens when they make fake videos a copyrighted Step speech clips. Speak with me. Hey, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and again, I'm not making this up. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. It just sound like a whisper, that male voice right behind me. Not too sure what it said, but it definitely said something then. Are you watching what I'm doing? Yeah, you bet. As Moxley fuck. made his way out of one room, I totally believe another you. disembodied voice emerged from the shadows. Get the fuck out of here. Furthermore, that's me. As I'm the disembodied male voice. The house, it appeared that his presence was catalyzing like a whisper. Use code T bags. Occurrence.
Use code TBAG, sit to dragonstreasure.com for 10% off your order. This. Let me know if you just heard that. It's not like a doot, doot, that double tap, like doot, doot. Oh, door slamming. That was you. Can you do it again? <laughs> Ooh, and again. Go check. Stop knocking on the walls. It was tapping. It was a ghost. I'm not here again doing this. It's not too bad when you're in a group. Cause so you've got somebody to watch your back all the time. That's how Shondo you know, lives. You're all just so vulnerable. Whatever it be. Hello? Like a shuffle. <laughs> From peculiar tap the ghost just to came. the unsettling closure Ectoplasm. of doors and the unsettling presence of disembodied voices, Moxley found himself unmistakably accompanied within the confines Most of the well house. cleaned UK house. Undeterred oh, you got a license for those spooks? Apparently not. <laughs> they can't fucking play any of them. message unexpectedly manifested. God damn it. Let's see what the ghost says. Have you got a message? You got a license for those spooks there. Hell Don't yeah! Just want to keep them nice and short, just like that. Have a listen. You got a license for them spooks there? Get out. A bone chilling, ghostly voice resonated through the recorder, commanding Moxley to leave. This unsettling utterance <laughs> took him completely off guard, That's sending so an sad. icy chill down his spine. God As damn the it. investigation neared its conclusion, oh. it became increasingly evident that there was a force within the house intent on expelling Moxley from its midst. So just go up to what is normal. How did they fuck up the audio of the entire video? Yeah. I wonder. Hold on. I want to look at the comments of this video when it's done. I've got another device. See if anybody else noticed. Do you want to step forward and speak? This one might be a bit easier for you. Man. Is your name back? What the fuck are you talking about? I said man. Who are you? Devil. <laughs> ah! Hello? <laughs> That's got to be somebody here. Another ghostly voice echoed from within the house, urgently urging Moxley to depart. This clear and direct message instilled a profound sense of fear within well, him. Well, fucking. prompting him to take immediate action. This video sucked, but because the they literally cut out all the audio. Of a seasoned investigator, what the fuck? Moxley scary cop. The premises. It does. It's not scary if you cut out literally all the sound. Hold on, I want to look at the comments. Sort by newest. Three months. What does it sound like, Velociraptor? The newest ones from three months ago. Sound like the narrator in the game Disco Elysium? Great half hour compilation, scary comp, a great dedication. I think these are bot views. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Oh man. 